I'll not call you again. Hansel, Hansel, wake up. having such a beautiful dream. What did you dream? We lived in a beautiful castle, you and I, and we each had our own little pony to ride. What else? We didn't have to do any chores, none at all. We were a prince and a princess, you see, and nobody could tell us what to do. Nobody? Nobody. <laughs> I like that dream. Hansel! Gretel! We're, We're coming, coming, Mother! But I'm still hungry! This is for your lunch. We don't need lunch later. We need breakfast now. Don't be so cheeky, young lady. Besides, too much breakfast is bad for the blood. It was just fine, Maria. Wasn't it, children? Yes. Yes. It was fine for a single mouse. Not for a man and his family. Go ready the cart for our journey today. Yes, Father. Stefan, they haven't finished the chores I gave them. They can do the chores tomorrow. I promise to take them with me. Tomorrow, tomorrow, everything is always put off. Will we have enough to eat on our table tomorrow? Oh, Stefan, what's going to become of us? The four of us are going to starve. You might as well start planing the boards for our coffins. Don't worry. I'm sure that I can sell all the wood that we can carry. Have faith. God will not forsake us. Now, be a good girl. Hansel, don't lose your hat. Stefan, don't let the baker cheat you. Impossible. Thank you. Bye-bye. 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 Oh, ask us another one, Father. Yes, another little one. All right, let's see. Yes, I've got one. What has arms and legs but hasn't got a head? Is it a fly? No. I know, I know. It's a turtle. Silly, a turtle has a head. So does a fly, Hansel. Oh, tell us, Father. What has arms, legs? It hasn't got a head. A chair. <laughs> that was a hard one, Father. I'll stump you. What two things can you never have for breakfast? Lunch and dinner. <laughs> Come on, ducks. Out of the way. There you are. Thank you. That'll do. Huh? Hey, with Gutter. 
Thank you, Blackstone. <laughs> gave me these strange stones. What are they? Well, these are flints. If you strike them together, they make sparks to start a fire. They're a good gift. Keep them with you always and you'll never be cold. Children, I told you to sit quietly while I finish my business here. This is the last bundle, sir. Taste and touch nothing, or your father will pay for your curiosity. And the same goes for you. Oh, the wood basket's full. I'm putting these by the oven. your money, woodcutter. Sir, this is not what we agreed upon. I don't have to deal with you at all. I could easily cut my own wood for my oven, but I haven't the time. So you reap the benefit. Sir, the last time I brought you wood, you paid me too little, and you promised to pay me fairly this time. I think you're mistaken, woodcutter. I don't remember any such thing. Little girl. And for you, some delicious cookie crumbs. What do you say, Gretel? Thank you, Master Baker, sir. You're very welcome, child. Come along, children. Yellow ribbons, come see and come by. The ribbon in the hair always lights up the eye. My, what beautiful hair this child has. How pretty a hair would look with a ribbon or two in it. This one's nice. But perhaps a blue satin ribbon to tie up her hair. No, thank you. Children, why don't you go along and watch the Punch and Judy show? Raise your hands and clap, clap, clap. Turn your head and step, step, step. Left and right, left and right, around about and back again. I would like to dance with him. He is nice and tall and slim. What 
your name, little boy? Hansel. Hansel, dear, would you agree? Would you dance and dance with me? <laughs> Raise your hands and clap, clap, clap. Point your toe and tap, tap, tap. <laughs> 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 Raise your hands and clap, clap, clap. Point your toe and tap, tap, tap. Left and right, left and then round about and back again. Come on, everybody, let's all sing. <laughs> Raise your hands and clap, clap, clap. Point your toe and tap, tap. from the puppets. Punch and Judy were so funny, all they did was fight and hit each other with a rolling pin. The blacksmith gave me two stones that make fire. Do you want to hear me sing the song I learned, Mama? Raise your hands and clap, clap, No, clap, not clap. now, Gretel. Look at the beautiful stones. Father told me how to use them. Take your sister inside. Go on. Go on! doesn't taste like the soup. It tastes like the wash water. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you know what the wash water tastes like. I tried it once. I really <laughs> did! <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. How dare you laugh at this meal. Next time I'll eat the last potato myself. Children, go to bed. Yes, go to bed, children. And if you're lucky, you'll never wake up. Maria, how could you say such a thing? How could you let that fat baker cheat you again? Are you a stupid simpleton? I'm a simple woodcutter. You're a father. 
Haven't you the courage to stand up to someone who's taking the food from your wife and babies by not paying you what is rightfully owed to you? He's an important man in town. I don't care if he's the king. I'll go to the town myself and speak to the baker. All right. I've heard enough. I'll go in tomorrow and I will collect the rest of what is owed to me. Good morning, missus. Good morning to you, neighbour. I've brought some things for you. Our cows has been producing more milk than we could drink or make cheese with. I brought you some eggs, too. I, I have no money for this, neighbour. Oh, no need. Your good husband has done me favours many a time. For oh, just last winter, when I was sick and couldn't get out of bed, brought forward to my family to keep my home warm. He's a good neighbour and a good man. Yes. My husband cares for everyone. But this is very kind of you and your family. Yeah. This is heavy. I'll, I'll carry it. Thank you. You know, yesterday, when I was delivering milk to the miller, he told me that another child has disappeared into that cursed north woods. They looked hard all day for that little boy. Found nothing. That's terrible. If you ask me, my thought is, no one will ever see that child again, missus. Look, children. Fresh milk and some eggs. <laughs> thank you. Say thank you, children. Thank you. Thank you. Good day. Mm. This cream is delicious. Mm -mm. <gasps> I'm going to make us some custard. <gasps> I can't wait. find some if I have to search the forest high and low and we're gonna have a real celebration when your father gets home tonight oh I'm so happy mm. now Gretel while I'm gone you do your darning yes mama and Hansel make sure that weave is good and tight or else the broom won't last and Hansel please do not forget to give some water to the donkey I won't forget Dance, miss? Yes, kind sir. 
Gretel, dear, I don't know how When to turn and how to bow Show me what I ought to do So that I may dance with you Raise your hands and clap, clap, clap Point your toe and tap, tap, tap Left and right, left and then Round about and back again Raise your hands and clap, clap, clap Point your toe and tap, tap, tap Left and right, left and then Round about and back again Tra-la-la-la-la-la-la 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 doing in the house? Where's my custard? <laughs> we didn't see him coming in. You let that stupid animal eat my custard and drink all our milk? Hansel, get that beast out of here. Now, do you hear? Take the donkey to the barn, you... Foolish boy! Come on, Duncan. Move, Duncan. I'll take the donkey myself. Such a worthless idiot. Come on, out! Come on, I've had enough. Just get out, my kitty. Get out of here. Out! Stupid, stupid children. I'll never forgive you. Never. We're sorry. We really are. Find some berries for our dinner tonight. Enough for all of us, or don't come back. Now get out of my sight. Get out of here. And don't even think of coming back empty-handed. Or I'll... I'll... Huh? Go away. Leave me alone. left in those woods. We've picked them all. No one ever goes here. But Papa said not to come in these woods. There's no path to follow. We could get lost. Have you still got those cookie crumbs the baker gave you? Yes. But they're stale. Good. 
just enough. We'll leave a trail of crumbs so that we can find our way back home and we won't get lost. But Papa said... Come on, don't be a baby. so big and ripe. Mmm, sweet too. Mother's going to be pleased. Berries we've picked. I've never made one so lovely before. 
Well, Princess, shall we return to our castle? All we have to do is follow our royal trail. Our royal trail of cookie crumbs. <laughs> Here's our trail. Here's another one. Here's one. Look, some more. There's another one. And another one. our trail. It's gone. I think we're lost. Don't say that. We'll find our way back. I know we will. Come on. What a day, oh what a day, oh what a happy man am I. Oh what a bird, oh what a breeze, oh what a joy to see the sky. How did I know how to be strong? Where did I find the voice to say? No, not enough, no, not at all, no, not again, no, not today. And this is how it should be, this is how it is. A man gets what he wants if he takes what is his. Oh, what a man, oh, what a man, oh, what a noble man am I. Oh, what a tree, oh, what a leaf, oh, what a fence, what a cottage, what a flower, what a life. Time to take a nap. Your husband's home from his long trek to town. Would you like to see what I bought? Aren't you glad to welcome me home? Welcome you home. To what? Nothing but troubles. I have to keep the house, feed the children. And what? Nothing. Well then, let us see what we have to eat today. Oh, Stefan, I'm in no mood for your jokes. I'm weary of living. The cupboard is barren. We have nothing. Would a large jar of honey make you less weary of living? <sighs> or wouldn't some flour fill up our cupboard nicely? How about some butter? Butter? <sighs> Where did this come from? I demanded my money from the baker, and he gave us every last penny he owes us. Oh, Stefan! Mm, mm, mm. Oh, he's a hard man. Did he give you any trouble? Mm, yes, well, he put up a bit of a fuss, but this time I didn't let him off the hook until I had everything that I came for. Oh! Mm. <gasps> They let the donkey into the house. He ate an entire pan of custard that I had made and broke a pitcher of milk that our neighbour had given us this very morning. When I found them playing with the donkey in the house, I was so angry with them, I sent them out to pick berries. Now, there aren't many berries left on the bushes by the cottage. We've eaten them all. Yes, I know. 
I couldn't find any myself, but I was so angry. Well, they should be home by now. You don't suppose that they've gone into the... The North Woods? No, no, they wouldn't have gone there. I told them a, a hundred times not to go anywhere near there. What have I done? Heaven help us! My children! Maria! could find them in that forest tonight. Poor Hansel and Gretel. My little babies. If anything should happen to them, I'd never forgive myself. Don't blame yourself. You were upset. It's an evil forest. Many children have disappeared there. There are no paths. It's easy to become lost. An old woman once told me there's a witch who lives deep in the north woods and demons as well. Superstition. Tonight we will pray for their safety. Tomorrow I will set out and find them. Come home. Come on, little sparks. Catch on fire. Light these twigs. I think we've got it. Yes. We're going to have a fire. to you. I hope no goblin gets me. No goblin will get you while I'm around. Sit close to me. I'll protect you. I dreamt that angels came to protect us last night. Beautiful angels. A boy and a girl. Maybe it wasn't a dream. We're safe.
Mother and father must be very worried. Time to go home. I'm hungry. I wish we still had those berries. Let me come with you. No. If they find their way home, it's best that you're here. I don't see anyone. Aren't you hungry? Mmm. So good. is made from cookies and candies. Hansel, look! Lemon sticks! <laughs> Welcome, children. Oh, poor darlings, you must be starved. Oh. Well, you've come to the right place. Everything here is good to eat. <laughs> uh, my name is Griselda. <laughs> come here, little pretty. <laughs> what is your name, child? Gretel, ma'am. And this is my brother, Hansel. Oh. <laughs> Gretel? <laughs> And Hansel. 
Oh. Your house is so beautiful. Oh. Are you a candy maker? Oh, my, yes. And a baker, too. Sugar and spice and everything nice, that's what my house is made of. Gingerbread girls with strawberry curls, that's what my house is made of. So please come inside, I'll help you decide. I'm full of delicious surprises and delicious disguises. I love to cook and serve you little dears. So tender but slender and hungry it appears. Apricot custard and lemon meringue, raspberry strawberry tart, butterscotch pudding and apple souffle, marzipan hazelnut mocha parfait. And if you want more, try the gingerbread door. My dears, my pie, my apple raisin tart, my cake, my best, I cross my chocolate heart. My house is yours, you're welcome and you're sweet, so tender, so slender, you need some more to eat. Tender, but slender, you need some more to eat. Some more to eat, some more to eat, some more to eat. <laughs> to add some more meat. No sooner had his lips touched hers, then Briar Rose opened her eyes, woke up, and smiled sweetly. <laughs> oh, Gretel, you are so sweet, just like my candies. <laughs> oh, now, where was I? <laughs> oh, they went downstairs together, and then the king and the queen and the whole court woke up, and they all stared at each other in amazement. <laughs> oh, poor little Hansel, you are so painfully thin. Here, won't you have another donut? <laughs> Not at the moment, thank you. <clears throat> My, what perfect manners you have. All right, well, I'll just put them over here. You can have one whenever you want one. I made them especially for you children. Oh. I'm so glad you children decided to spend the night. <laughs> the whole court looked at each other in amazement. Yes. Yeah. The horses uh, stood up and shook themselves. The flies on the wall started crawling. <laughs> and the fire in the kitchen flamed up and cooked the children. <laughs> I mean, the chicken. Cook the chicken. You children comfortable? Would you like four or five more pillows? No, thank you. Oh. Finish the story, please. Yes, yes please. Yes. Uh, the cook began to roast again. The roast began to cook again. And uh, the uh, prince and Briar Rose were married in splendor and lived happily to the end of their little lives. Their long lives. Yes. Yeah, that was a good story. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Griselda, what's that you wear around your neck? Oh, this is my eyeglass, child. It helps me to see things close up. <laughs> when I take my glass away, I, I don't see quite as well. Th that's what happens when you get as old as me. But my nose, now that's a different story. I have a very good sense of smell. It helps me to cook up all my goodies. <laughs> Can I look through it? Oh, no, no, dear. It's fragile. And Grandmother Griselda wouldn't want to let it out of her sight. Well, 
Good night, my little cupcake. Sleep tight. And don't let the bed bugs bite. Could we have pancakes and jam for breakfast tomorrow, Grandmother Griselda? Well, of course you will, honey. You can have anything your plump little heart desires. You'll have sacks and stacks of pancakes and three kinds of jam. And, and, and Gretel and I will cook up a wondrous breakfast. Uh, won't we, Gretel? <laughs> yes, Griselda. Good night and thank you. You're welcome, Miss Pie. You're <laughs> welcome, Miss Pie. <laughs> Hansel, you call Griselda grandmother, but she's not our grandmother, is she? Our grandparents are in heaven, so she can be our new grandmother. Oh. This bed is so comfortable. It's like a cloud. I wish we could live here all the time. What about mother and father? Wouldn't you like to live here and eat the good things Griselda cooks and have her read the stories every night? This is the most wonderful house in the whole world. Marshmallow sauce on my fudge. Mm. Oh, Hansel. Witch's law and five and six, my witchy tricks, and nine is one, and ten is none, and seven is near of what I will. And thus I chant till dawn of day, these children shall be mine. So dream away, you little sheep, for soon you'll sleep. Your last long sleep, and hence become part of my gingerbread fence. Oh, how well I will dine of young flesh so divine! <laughs> I know you're there. I can smell you. <laughs> She's a witch! She's a witch! Hocus pocus, witch's spell, rope and twine his body well! <laughs> Hansel! Run! I can't! I can't move! Restrain him, Gretel. 
behave. He's my prey, and she's my slave. Hocus pocus, malus locus, rocus focus, hocus pocus. fast enough to keep up with the great Griselda. Well, let's see now. Two and a half cups of milk. Make the curd separately, dust with flour. Oh, you're such a lucky boy, Hansel. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm making you a lemon cream cake. <laughs> I don't want anything from you. Let me out of here. Uh, boysenberry, elderberry, Blueberry. Ooh. Firm pears, crystallized ginger, and apple juice. Hansel, a ginger pear pie? Ooh, I've never made one of those before. Oh. oh, what about my delicious bread and butter pudding with jam and meringue? I'll eat no more of your cooking, witch. You'll eat what I tell you to, when I tell you to. The only time I let your little sister stop her chores is when you're eating. Understand? We've got to fatten you up, little pig. Gretel, wash that pie plate and be quick about it.
you still got a whole barrel of apples to do. At that rate, you'll never finish. Getting tired of my delicious pies and puddings, are you, little Hansel? Give me your finger. <laughs> oh. oh, my, my. You'll still need some more fattening up before I bake you in my oven. <laughs> my little man. Hurry up and finish. Your sister has lots of chores to do for me. Let me see your finger again. <laughs> Ouch! You're squeezing too hard. Oh, I am, am I? <laughs> oh, you're not quite fat enough, but you're getting fatter. Yes. Well, soon you'll be fat enough for me to eat you. <laughs> oh. Oh. I'm getting tired. It's been a long day. Before I go to sleep, I want you to eat some more of my delicious sweet rolls. <laughs> I won't eat them. You can't make me. You eat whatever I give you. Or I will eat your little sister. She's not very big or plump, but she do for a midnight snack. Yes. I'll boil her quickly and eat her right in front of your eyes. I'm eating, I'm eating. Don't hurt her. Well, I'll have no more trouble with you. You'll eat whatever Griselda serves you. <laughs> oh, surprise! A little something different for you to enjoy. A nice fat chicken for my little Hansel to eat. And gobble it right up, eat it up, darling, because I just can't wait to have you for my fluff little chicken.
Run away from here. No, Hansel, I won't leave you. All right. We must be bold. We must steal her seeing glass. But how? She always wears it around her neck. Carefully. Go on, it's now or never. I can't eat much more or I'll burst. I can't work much more or I'll fade away. Oh, how I miss mother and father. So do I. And to think I call that witch grandmother. What are you doing? I, I, I'm just wiping some crumbs off your apron. It's almost morning. You seem wide awake and eager to begin your chores. You'll stop now. I need walnuts. You will shell and crush a barrel of my finest walnuts. Today there'll be a storm of baking. <laughs> I showed you, you stupid girl. We'll never get anything done this way. Just can't get any good help anymore. You fill a whole bowl full. Then you pound the nut meats like this. And one, and two, and one, and two, and one, and two, and one. But what are you pounding? There's nothing there. I am demonstrating how to pound a pile of nuts. I'm trying to show you how it is done. <gasps> one and two and one and two and one. Oh! Oh! You idiot! Look what you made me do! Oh! Oh! oh. I broke my precious eyeglass! just have to work extra hard. Go fill up two buckets at the well. I must fill my cauldron. What took you so long? Fill the cauldron and be quick about it. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <Yeah>. Little Hansel. <laughs> Give me your finger, little Hansel, so that I may see if you're fat enough for me to cook up. Drazzle, no eyeglass. You don't seem a bit fatter today. In fact, you seem thinner. There's just no meat on your bones. Not even enough for me to have a nice lunch. <sighs> Perhaps the two of them together would make one nice meal for me. 
Dresser, today is the day we make my special gingerbread. Ha, <laughs> 
Hocus Pocus, their place is switch. Make Griselda a gingerbread witch. Thanks. <laughs> 